Hey everybody, this is Andrew Perkins with Tuts Plus. Today we're going to work more with Symfony 2, where we'll explore the basics of building web applications using this awesome framework. Now I know in the last lesson I said that we'd look at controllers next, but I actually feel that it might be easier to learn the framework in a slightly different order. So today we're going to learn about the basics of routing to give our application clean and pretty URLs and to make it easy to manage our application's URLs and links. We're not going to go too far into detail as Symfony routing can do quite a lot, but we'll at least cover what we need to know and keep straight into the point. Now, right now I'm just going to switch into Sublime and I already have a fresh copy of the Symfony 2 framework set up on my local development machine and I've got its files opened up here in my text editor. So we briefly grazed over bundles in the first video where we learned that bundles are under the source directory here and bundles hold entire specific features of our application. And then inside of this folder, we have different vendor folders which can hold our applications bundles themselves. As you can see, we have the default Acme vendor folder here. Then inside of this, we have our demo bundle bundle. Now we can actually learn a great deal about Symfony 2 routing just by looking at the example code that comes with our Acme demo bundle. But don't worry, as we proceed throughout this series, we'll learn much more about bundles then. But for now, let's just focus on routing. So under source, Acme, demo bundle, resources, config, open up routing.yaml. So this is our routing bundles specific routes file. Whenever we want to work with a specific bundles routes file, we just look in the appropriate bundle config folder. So what does a route actually do? Basically, it allows us to map our application's URLs to a controller. Our routes also need to be customizable and flexible so we can have whatever URLs we desire. And so that should we ever need to change them, we don't wanna to have to update all of the links throughout our entire application. Now by default, we have several routes set up here, each showing a different route implementation. Each of these have different options that you can set. Some have a pattern, which is just the URL for the route. Others use a resource, a type, or a prefix. And some have a default array telling the route which controller it should use. So let's start with the first welcome route at the top here. As you can see, we're using the pattern option to set the URL. It's just going to a forward slash. That's the root of our application or our homepage. And for the default array, we're just setting the controller to use our Acme demo bundle, the welcome controller class, and then its index action. So we can see there's a naming convention being followed here. As with all other parts of Symfony, we use our bundle name followed by the controller class name and finally the methods name itself. So you can use a route like this one to just define whatever URL you'd like and then link it to one of your controllers. So let's see how this first route works together with all of the other files and how it gets displayed into the browser. First, we know that it's linking to our Acme demo bundle. We also know that it's going to be using our welcome controller class. And then inside of that, it's going to be using our index action. So inside of the Acme demo bundle, then inside of controller, let's open up the welcomecontroller.php file. And now inside of the welcome controller, we can locate our index action, the final piece that the routing file needs. So you can see here that the name of the method is index, which is then appended with the word action. And we'll learn more about this in the controllers video. Now our index action then just renders a twig view file, just like we saw in the last video, and it'll be displayed in the browser. Now don't worry, we'll learn all about twig in an upcoming video. We just need to start out slow to bring us up to speed with all of the different features in Symfony 2. So make sure to save all of your files and make sure that your server is started. And I'm just going to switch into the browser. And now based on that welcome route that we saw, we should be able to access that index page just by visiting the root URL or the forward slash of our app. So if you started up your server, you can access your application at localhost port 8000 and then that forward slash. This is the root of our application. So let's go there. And great, as expected, the root URL displays our welcome index actions view file. So the routing handled everything for us. All right, let's look at one more example. I'm going to go back into Sublime and let's switch back into our routing file. 
And let's check out this last demo route here, as it's essentially the same thing as the route above it. So this time for the demo route, you can see that it's just defined a little bit differently. First, we define its resource here. This is just telling it which bundle controller it should use. Here it's telling it to use our Acme demo bundle and then to use the demo controller. After the resource, the type is being set. So basically, this way of doing your routes allows us to set up some of our route information from within an annotation inside of our controller action method. And we'll see this in just a moment. And then lastly, we have our prefix. So for this type of routing setup, we can actually define a route for each one of our controller's actions methods and place it under a desired prefix URI. In this case, every action that we may have in our demo controller will be available using its name under the slash demo URI. It's actually really convenient. So let's take a look at the controller to see how these annotations work, and I think it should make more sense then. Under the controller folder, let's open up democontroller.php. And if we scroll down, you can see that we have multiple controller actions. Each one is for the demo route and will be available under that slash demo URI. So let's just take a look at the very first action here, the index action. This is essentially the same as our welcome route, which we used for the root URL. Here though, our URL is placed within a PHP comment or an annotation right above the method. What this does is it lets Symfony 2 know that this action belongs to the appropriate route in the routes file. So we use this special little syntax here with the at sign to specify the route. Here the URI is just a forward slash, which is the root of our at, and then it's given a name of underscore demo. Now, other than that, everything else works exactly the same. It's still linking our controller actions to URIs, except they're being placed under a prefix. Basically, this method just allows you to define routing information within your controller's actions comments using annotations. And you can access the page using the exact same way, just like we did with our other routes. So let's go back to the browser. Now we know that these routes are under the slash demo URI. So to visit that demo index action page, all we need to do is go to localhost port 8000 slash demo. And perfect. Here's our demo app. Now remember, if we switch back into Sublime, all of these other actions here are also available as a route, and we can access them using a URI using their method name. So feel free to play around with the demo and see if you can figure out how some of the more advanced routing syntax that you see here in the controller works. Now there is actually another way of defining your routes like this for your controllers, but we can't actually go about creating our own custom routes just yet as that requires more knowledge about controllers themselves, and it makes it easier to teach the topic when they're combined. So let's hold off on that until the next video, where we'll actually be working on controllers this time. And at that point, we can use what we know about routes and apply it along with the controller video to see some custom routes and the other options. Hopefully you now have a better understanding of how the default routes work within Symfony 2, it should make more sense once we go over a few more of the main components, such as the controller and templates. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.